What's going on everybody? Jeff back here with the Hefe Head Beer Reviews. Tonight we got a, a beer I'm pretty excited about. It's another double IPA, but this is going to get us into three Lips of Faith series beers in a row. This is um, New Belgium and Alpine Beer Company Super India Pale Ale. So this is a collaboration between the two breweries. Um, so from what I hear, tell me if I'm wrong, um, obviously, as always, but... Um, Alpine Beer came up with the, Alpine Brewing Company came up with the recipe for this because they make some of the best um, IPAs in the country. Um, they've got, let me think if I can mem remember all of them, Exponential Hoppiness, Pure Hoppiness, Duet, Nelson, Hoppy Birthday, I don't know, those are the those are the ones I can think of right now. But, and then so they just use New Belgium's uh, huge brew house and their uh, massive distribution. So this one was able to get towards me. Um, about nine bucks for this bottle. It comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. Let me read what it says right here. Alpine might be small, but their brewing chops are mighty. We teamed up to create this triple dry hopped Imperial IPA, bursting with Columbus, Amarillo, Centennial, and Simcoe hops. Consider yourself a hero for getting an Alpine beer out of San Diego. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this one, um, being able to obviously being able to get an Alpine beer outside of San Diego, like it says right there, um, and not in a trade or anything like that, just being able to go to the store and pick it up, because I know that, well, they're not really interested in um, expanding too much, so I'm pretty excited for this one, so let's go ahead and get to it. This one's got a normal uh, New Belgian cap, a little bike right there. All right, great looking double IPA. A little on the lighter side, um, actually, it's got like a kind of a light orange... Dark straw color, big head, um, about two fingers right now, and it's it's definitely sticking around a little bit. Um, really big bubbles towards the top, um, smaller ones towards the bottom. Um, not a lot of carbonation streaming out from the bottom, but it's definitely there. Um, looks like it's going to have good lacing, not too much on that alcohol leg front. A little bit of a chill haze, I think, right now. Maybe slightly hazy, um, maybe a slight, slight hop haze, you know. It looks like a really good beer. I can already smell it, so let's just go ahead and give it a smell. What this smells like is exactly what you should think of when you think of a, a West Coast IPA. Just a massive amount of sweetness and citrus and pine, and it's just intense. Kind of like a sugar-soaked grapefruit, um, maybe even a little bit of that Simcoe, kind of like a cat piss astringency kind of thing going on. I don't think they use summit in this one, but I'm getting a little bit of kind of like one of the, a little bit of that uh, that onion garlicky thing. Um, but it's super faint. That might just be uh, my nose mistaking the um, the Simcoe scent with the summit one. But it smells really good, super effervescent, and uh, I'm really excited to give this one a try. So here we go. Cheers. You're getting a slight... Uh, initial bitterness that gives way to a great citrus flavor, um, slight sweetness, and then of course you're getting that 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 pine bitterness uh, towards the end. Um, it lingers a little bit, but it's not super off putting. When I think of a uh, intense piney aftertaste, I'm thinking of like uh, Sierra Nevada Optimum or their even their Bigfoot. Those ones have a massive amount lingering. This is nice. It lets you know that it's there, but it's not a uh, it's not sticking around for. Um, for a while, and it definitely begs for you to take another sip. Super smooth flavor. Um, Nine percent alcohol is completely hidden. You cannot taste that at all. It just is. It's completely smooth and, and very easily drinkable. Yeah, definitely a fan of this one. Uh, when I think of the mouthfeel on this one. It reminds me a little bit of the Deviant Dale thing. Um, I mean, obviously, it doesn't have the summit hops in it, but the the mouthfeel is kind of slick and uh, and resinous. It kind of well, that's what I'm talking about with when it, when it lingers on your tongue a little bit, it kind of coats it and gives it kind of like an oily feel. But definitely has good carbonation and it's light enough that it's not um, sticking around forever. Um, so I'm going to sip on this one for a little bit longer and then I'll give you guys uh, my final verdict. What's going on guys? I'm back with the uh, Alpine Beer Company and New Belgium Super India Pale Ale. Um, so th this is an exceptionally smooth beer and I love that. It's very easy to drink. It definitely doesn't drink like a 9% alcohol Imperial IPA, more like a maybe a 7% or 7.5% um, IPA. Uh, one drawback to this one, I was would say, is that it, I don't know if the taste lives up to the smell. The smell is just amazing, and it's got a lot of stuff you're looking for. Uh, it doesn't have any floral, but it definitely has a lot of the, the citrusy fruits and tropical fruits that you're looking for. Um, I, I think I'm more of a Citra fan than a Simcoe fan. Um, if they would have used that one in this one, I think it probably would have been an in in A+. Plus. Um, but maybe I'm just not a fan of the, the Simcoe kind of a astringency thing going on. Um, it still is a great beer. It's, it's super easily 
easy to drink and uh, and delicious. I'm gonna go with a with a with an A on this one. I'm gonna go with a 93. Um, if you can get it, definitely pick it up. Like uh, like I said, I was saying before, Alpine Beer Company is super impossible to find. Anything that uh is on the shelf gets eaten up eventually. Uh, gets eaten up right away, and that's only still only in San Diego. So this is a great look into the you know into what they have to offer. Um, if you're not able to get it, uh, otherwise throughout a trade, um, it's definitely worth it. Definitely pick it up and, uh, and give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so this has been Super India Pale Ale, Lips of Faith, New Belgium, Alpine Beer Company. See you guys in another beer review. Cheers.